Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about my favorites for the month of October. So if you are interested in hearing the best of the best this month, then just keep watching. I feel like October had so many product releases and I wore so little makeup. Like, I really went through the motions of the month and the only times I actually wore makeup was the days that I filmed for the channel. So there isn't a lot of behind the scene products that I've been wearing. These are just products that I've tested out this month that really stood out to me that I found myself continually using throughout the days I was filming because I don't wear makeup really to my job. I just wear like a powder foundation and mascara. I'm gonna talk about my powder foundation and mascara though that I've been loving. So this mascara I featured a couple months ago in my monthly favorites, but it needs to be mentioned again because my Pat McGrath favorite mascara ever, it dried out. So I've been using this and it, this is a really good replacement and it's also only $2.99 and this is the Essence Lash Princess False Effect Mascara. Now Essence has a lot of different mascaras out get the green one the lash princess it is really amazing it's just a really generic mascara wand but honestly it really separates and lengthens my lashes way more than any other mascara that I've used in a while I've been using this and today I actually used the ColourPop volumizing mascara and this sucks this gives my eyelashes so much length so much volume so much more separation this mascara seemed so terrible compared to this so this is like the best three dollars I've ever spent so if you're looking for a really good cheap mascara this one's really awesome. Also something as far as my everyday makeup routine has gone is this brush. This brush is what I use to apply my powder foundation for every day. This is the Isom X57. So it's basically just like a little kabuki brush and I love how the handle is so short. I really feel like I have a lot of control with it. It just feels really nice and comfortable in the hand and I just love the way this buffs on foundation. It spreads it out super quickly. It's dense enough to pick up the product and apply a lot of it to the face so that I actually get a, a little bit of coverage from my powder foundations. So I've just been loving this. I've been grabbing for this every day. I get more coverage from it because of how dense it is and just the amount of control I have. I really can have it spread without a bunch of powder flying into the air. So Isom X57, absolutely amazing. So definitely look into this brush, especially if you are into powder foundation. This has been a game changer in my routine. By the way, I'm working on like day three in a row here so it's not really cooperating so next is a foundation that I've been loving so I've been really limited on the foundations I can use because I got super tan uh, I spend like eight hours a day outside for my job and none of my foundations were matching me even the darkest ones that I had didn't really match me so basically I was too dark for all of my foundations and I just felt like I looked so ashy and dead so I had like two foundations that actually did match me and so I picked one up at the store and this one is still a little bit too light for me and it's a bit too cool tone for me but I really enjoy the formula this is the makeup revolution conceal and hydrate radiance foundation mine is in the shade f8 I am starting to lighten up a little bit because it's not as sunny anymore so Foundations are matching me a little bit better, but I really enjoy this formula. So their first formula of foundation is matte, and it's really a perfecting foundation, and though I do like it, I just love something about a natural hydrating foundation. So when I saw this, I was so excited, and I really do love this formula. If you're looking for something long wear, don't go towards this, but the finish of this on the skin is really natural, but it still gives you coverage. So it still is perfecting, but it's just more moisturizing and not as dry looking as the matte one. And this is the foundation that I'm wearing right now. As you can see, it is more so of a medium coverage, but it just looks so soft and healthy on the skin. I love a good luxury foundation, but you know what? Sometimes from the drugstore, you can really find some good ones. So I've been really enjoying this one. So now it's time to get into more of the fun holiday releases. Like I said, I haven't had a 
ton of chances to really dig into products so i'm still doing that even with these products but these products specifically in the last month really stood out to me so the first one that i have is from laura mercier and this is the cheek canvas soft cheek canvas you guys also seemed very interested in this palette and i'm sorry i didn't have time to do a full dedicated review on this palette but it is so good it's one of my favorite face palettes that's been released in a while and this i was gonna pass up on but when I saw it in person I had to have it so it has really cute packaging it's a little odd but I oddly like it and then you open it up and you reveal just a beautiful cheek palette it's just highlighters and blushes so you're getting three highlighters and three blushes and I just love the tones of everything in this palette I love a good pinky blush so if you don't like a bright blush on your cheek you're not going to like this but you have more of like a neutral color a bright pink color which is what I always go for and then this really bright pretty coral color which is actually what I used all over my cheeks today really soft really great blush formula I wouldn't say it's the most amazing blush formula but it is really nice and then you have really pretty highlighters you have a really bright white one this one's more pinky gold and this one is more pinky based but they are very flattering for light skin I would say dark skin tones the highlighters might be a bit too ashy for you but you could make it work but light and medium skin tones this is stunning right now I am wearing this highlighter and this is what's on my cheek and it is incredible so the formula of this itself is approved by me and I love the, a bright cheek so I love the colors here and I've been using this all the time this is probably my most used makeup product from the new makeup that I've purchased and it's just my kind of colors and I'm loving it and it's slept on. It's super good. It really is. My favorites video wouldn't be complete without a couple eyeshadow palettes. So the first ones I have, I've mentioned a couple times before, and I've done a full dedicated review. And these are from the new Tom Ford Soleil Neige collection. I don't know why this collection just really speaks to me. So the first one that I've been loving is Soleil and Loon, which is the one that sold out super quick and I think everybody's in love with. So I have this color right here washed all over over my lid nothing else not even bronzer so it's really bright and I just like that it's my skin tone but really bright and shiny and really great for just like an all mascara look when you don't want too much definition or depth in the eye and the formula of this is incredible this one is more unique it's for a very light bright icy eye but if you like something a little bit more deep and smoky Soleil Neige is amazing and I feel like this one is probably the scariest of the three to people because it's just like it looks like it's for a cool tone smoky eye but honestly this color all over the lid alone is stunning either of these two as a little bit of liner really would create a very natural pretty defined look and I just love this for the winter I think it is wonderful so I would definitely check out my full dedicated review I also reviewed the third palette but these two I've been obsessed with super wonderful and the last palette that I have to talk about is a quad from Pat McGrath from her holiday collection and this is the Blitz Astral Quad in Nocturnal Nirvana. This is the one in the baby blue packaging and then you open it up just the whole experience that's what you're paying for and then you have the typical mothership packaging and then the colors in here seem scary compared to the other ones that she released but honestly this one is my favorite i love the looks that i've created with this quad and it's just really unique and pretty and you can actually make it quite wearable as well if you just want to add a little bit of pop of color you can go for that or you can apply just the gold and a hint of the purple color it's not too crazy i mean you have to be a color lover to really like this one of the three little ones that she's come out with this one's my favorite i do love the rose one as well that one is stunning and i think most of you guys would prefer that one but just something about this is so much more unique to me and the fact that this is all her very special formula that makes her line what it is i love all three of them but this one deserves a whole moment because beautiful i will again link my review to this down below for you guys okay only two more items and they're both from fenty and i haven't shut up about them so they're both the holiday sets so this first one is a lip gloss and highlighter set so the highlighter is in sandcastle and the lip gloss is in sweet mouth and i was very rudely corrected that this highlighter actually does exist it's in one of the kilowatt duos my mistake i'm sorry so this does exist i don't own that duo but it's a really Really bright highlighter my highlighter right now is pretty bright but I just want to show you how 
did, did you, I don't, I don't, like I just very lightly pressed my brush in and I don't know that I love my highlight being this bright to be honest it's a bit much for me but the formula of this is just incredible okay and it comes with a lip gloss and you guys know this is like the best lip gloss formula ever in sweet mouth so i love applying this with like a nude or a pink lip liner and just putting this over top it adds a very light wash of champagne over top and it's just a very versatile color to add a little bit more touch of brightness to the lips and overall i just have been loving the set i've been using these two items quite a lot and I think it's a really great value especially for somebody like me who owns so much makeup it's always nice to pay a little bit less to get smaller items so they don't take up much room and so I don't feel as guilty as well but I've been loving that this month along with the Fenty Glossy Posse lip gloss set I think everybody who are interested in her lip glosses jumped on this set so it comes in a really nice tin case and then you get five lip glosses and I've just been grabbing for this I'm so lazy sometimes with picking out lip colors that I'll just put on a generic lip liner and then one of these glosses on top so right now I have on the ColourPop lippy pencil and BFF 3 which by the way ColourPop lippy pencils are like the best and then I have this more chocolate gloss all over my lips and you see it's not too dark the lip liner is what really makes it dark and all of these colors aren't super pigmented they just have a small tint in the glosses the tint is enough so that you can see it on the lips so you can't just put like a random lip liner underneath you have to kind of figure out what looks good but like this hot pink isn't intimidating but if you put like a neutral pink lip liner underneath this is going to add a little bit of color fussy is already in their line but it's one of the most versatile colors for every day. This color, I will admit, I haven't used yet, so I don't want to talk about it, but the chocolate one, I love. It's not too dark, but it's perfect for fall lips, as well as this orange for the holidays and the fall as well. I love a good orange lip, so I just love the formula of these lip glosses, and I love having different color options to choose from. This one, I feel like I've been mentioning in every holiday favorites video that I can speak about it in, but it's just so good, such a great value for so it. So that is all I have as far as the products go. I would recommend if you are interested in any of these, if you can get them for the Sephora VIB sale, do it. You can get them for 20% off. I strongly recommend everything. The Tom Ford quads, the Laura Mercier, Pat McGrath, and then of course both of the Fenty. Those are the items that you can still purchase for the VIB sale. Let's talk about my channel of the month. I've been wanting to talk about this channel and I just did a collab with her. Kinky Sweat, my friend Alicia. Just her personality and her video quality is just getting better and better. She's really putting her love and full effort into her videos and it truly shows she's a genuine person and even if I didn't do a collab with her. It just so happens that's how timing worked out, but I've been planning on featuring her this month as my channel of the month because she has a great personality. Her knowledge and passion really shines through in her videos, and I feel like her channel has been very slowly exploding. Like, she's gonna grow to be so much more big, and she deserves that. So if you like really in-depth makeup reviews, you guys should definitely go subscribe to her channel because she is awesome, and let her know that I sent you, and that's all I have for today's video and for this month's favorites not the most amount of products but you know what I think that's good I'm trying to work to keep things at a little bit more of a minimum just for my wallet's sake and that just seems to be the trend in beauty anyways I get so many comments from you guys saying that you're on a no buy so I'm going to try and accommodate to that as well so if you aren't subscribed to my channel already please make sure you take the time to do so and let me know your favorite makeup products for this month and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one